What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of Magic Farm 2. This is season two of many to come, I have a feeling. Unless we get, uh, unless we just get really, really lucky. Uh, we are live streaming uh, like we were yesterday, so you may hear me talking to the minions in the chat. Uh, keep in mind, I do record 90% of my stuff live now, so you are more than welcome to come join us at twitch.tv forward slash pyrostasis and, uh, and, and chat anytime you feel, feel the need. Shots fired. We've got shots fired. Tisk tisk potato. You should know not to mess with me. Stabs him with a rusty knife and then rolls him into an industrial microwave. Oh my god, Vectrum. That is that is hateful. Because you used a rusty knife. Now we can't eat Potato Goblin's carbs once he's microwaved. You can't do that. We lose out on the yummy potato-ness. That's just hateful. All right, so yesterday, you guys remember, we were running around. When I when we, when we canceled, we were, we were way over there. And I saw these mountains. And so this is actually the mountain we saw from way over there. There was no gravel anywhere. No gravel anywhere. This is the first gravel that we have seen on this seed. I do blame Craft Clone for this. This is all Craft Clone's fault. Craft Clone, I'm quite, I am quite positively convinced at this point, is the Antichrist. So we're, we're gonna have to take care of Craft Clone one of these days, guys. He cannot be allowed to, t really, you're gonna break my shovel. That's fine. I don't need that damn shovel. I don't need it. Shovels are for pussies anyway. Shovels are for pussies. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, there we go. We got a decent amount. How much gravel? See, the, the good thing about this, so I mean I can't be entirely upset. The nice thing about this is the gravel at least had the common courtesy to have like a ton of it here. Like an absolutely ridiculous ton. And you know what? I think we may have actually found our house here. Because I, I kind of like this. We're, we're up off the ground. Um, we're probably not going to have to worry too much about creepers. This this may be a good spot to set up, I'm actually thinking now. Um, okay, so there's some sticks. Let's do this and this. Let's get ourselves another glorious wooden shovel. God, this thing looks rinky-dink as hell. There we go. All right. Finish this stuff up. Uh, the reason I went ahead and made another shovel... Some of you guys may be like, um, it's not that much better than using your fist, Pyro. Uh, the reason I, I chose to do that is I believe using my fist is slightly slower, which means more punches, which means more hunger usage. So it's it's probably a good idea for me to go ahead and just, you know, say screw it and use it. All right, so we're going to set this up here. Uh, it's fixing to be nighttime. As you guys can see, the uh, the sun is sort of setting. Well, I guess it's not really setting yet. Maybe that's Maybe it's a little bit further up than I thought. Okay, so we have some gravel. Let's go ahead and make, um, okay, that's not working. Is it like this? There it is, okay. I always forget how to do that. All right, we have 14 flint now. So that is, that is plenty of flint to do what we need to do. The question now is, do we have enough, do we have enough wood to make all the Tinker's Construct stuff we do, that we need? And I'm not sure we do, because we've only got enough for three um, we're going to need four minimum, so let's go ahead and do two more of those. I'm going to try and save this last little bit of wood uh, so that we don't we don't burn all of our wood, because we're going to need some of that as well, if you guys remember. All right, so there we go. That ought to give us most of what we need. So if I recall, it's like this and that. That gives us the stencil table, yep. And then it's uh, this and that, and if I recall, that's the part builder. Okay, now we need a chest. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and place these two things down real quick. Um, let's see, part builder, fuck. We don't have any open, okay, stencil table. Damn it, Bobby. So here's the problem. I need four. So I guess we'll just put the part builder right there. That's where we'll actually put that little guy. Um, and then we'll put the chest there and then the stencil table over there. So I need to make, oh God, I'm going to have to use all my wood now. 
Yeah, because we need we actually need eight pieces of wood to do what we we need the chest now for the pattern chest. There we go. And I mean, technically, we don't have to have a pattern chest, but I mean, seriously, we we need one. We need one bad. All right, so I've got that there. In a minute, we can put. Uh, I'm just gonna put this here for now. So now we got the stencil table, we got the pattern chest, and then over here we got the part builder. And uh, you can see the part builder is now actually using. Is that nighttime yet? Can we sleep? I'd really rather not die. Really rather not die. Okay. There we go. Huh, uh, oh, come on! Oh, fucking hell. I hate this fucking. Oh. Stupid. Stupid mod pack. All right. Um. Oh, we have new shots. We have new shots. Really, Vectrum? Is that the best you can do? Rams a potato down Vectrum's throat and beats him to death with a big rainbow. Uh, well, it's a, it's a rainbow bleep. So I'm thinking a rainbow penis, maybe. While playing Ding Dong, the witch is dead. That is fucking hateful, potato. That is hateful. My God. My God. Oh, poor, poor Vectrum. A moment of silence for Vectrum. I mean, being beaten to death by a rainbow dildo is just... It's a horrible way to go, man. It's a horrible way to go. All right, so we got our tool rod. We need our... Let's see, what's next? Um, I'm actually going to make the axe first which some of you guys may question why i'm doing that um although i just realized we don't have a tool station yet and i don't have any wood to make a tool station i see uh tool tool state yep that's a crafting table um which i guess i guess we could i guess we can do that why not what, what the hell, bitches? We're gonna have to go do it anyway, right? All right, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna man up. Um, I guess I can do it here. Yeah. So it's bam and bam. There we go. Now we got our tool station. <laughs> Legendary. All right. So we just need a tool head and the bottom there. So we've got the tool head. Guy, yeah, I just realized we don't have any wood. Fuck. All right. Well. Thankfully, wood's not too far. We'll just jump over here. We'll jump over here. We'll we'll mine the 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 hell out of this this eucalyptus tree. This this looks like brony meat tree. I'm gonna call this the brony meat tree. That's that's what it's going to be called because damn it, it's my show and I can call it whatever the hell I want. But it, it does. It it kind of looks like 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 meat, doesn't it? It's all pink and shit. I I had no idea eucalyptus was pink. I had no idea. Did, does anybody know that 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 that, that eucalyptus was pink? Because that's news to me. Granted, I'm not a treeologist, so you know, and I'm I'm sure real treeologists, because they're they're most likely not named treeologists, are now weeping that I fucked up their name. But that's all right. I was probably gonna make them cry eventually anyway. All right, there we go. Oh shit! Jumping, jumping. There we are. There we are. It's going to take me like 25 minutes to chop this tree down. Now, if I was smart, I would probably stop mining this tree, run back home, and then simply uh, simply make the axe. But at this point, the tree's made me mad. Like, I'm, I'm so angry, I don't even want to go back. You know, I want to finish this tree off. What is that shit down there? What is that? Holy crap, that is a massive bush tree down. Dude, we are going to live forever. We're not dying this. I, I can tell already. This is going to be the final season of Magic Farm. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Magic Farm, the whole purpose, at least for me on this, is to get to technology. If I can get to the point where I have thermal expansion and I have uh, MFR set up, it's almost impossible, and I use that word very loosely because I am me, and if it is possible, I will find a way. But it is almost impossible for me at that point to lose. And apparently Vectrum Gaming disagrees because he just shot at me. Uh, Potato Goblin, I don't think you understand. I love potatoes. 
but you have become a nuisance to me. Knocks Potato out, then dresses him up as Pyro and tosses him into a pack of Pyro's bloodthirsty subscribers. Oh my god! Oh my god! Poor, poor Potato Goblin. That's just terrible. I, I, I do believe... I do believe my subscribers just ate Potato Goblin whole. Raw. That, oh, that's just terrible. Poor, poor Potato Goblin. Whoa, what the hell just happened? This is a single player world. How am I lagging in a single player world? That is impossible. There is no internet here. Oh. So, so really obscure. Did it just reset again? Really Obscure just wins the Lore Bunny Award for the day. He, he just Lore Bunnied me. His comment was, wouldn't the point of Magic Farm 2 be to make a Magic Farm? Alright, you, you sir have won the Lore Bunny Award, sir. The Lore Bunny Award. Every, everyone give, give, him the, give him a Lore Bunnying. He must, he must be mercilessly Lore Bunnied for doing that. For those of you guys watching on YouTube who have no idea what the hell I'm talking about... Uh, we have two new emotes on the Twitch channel. One of them is Shots Fired, because obviously people are shooting each other constantly. The other one is the Lore Bunny. For those of you guys who have not been with me long term, Lore Bunny is somebody who knows entirely way too much about something that is entirely pointless. For instance, if you can speak Klingon fluently, you are a Lore Bunny. If you know the entire backstory to Schmeagol from Lord of the Rings, you are a Lore Bunny. If you know when Captain Picard was born and you can recite from heart the square footage of the USS Enterprise, you are a lore bunny. A cool lore bunny, but still a lore bunny. All right. Are these? Oh, God. These are awesome. These are awesome. This will right here alone hopefully keep us from starving. Badass. All right. So these are eucalyptus trees. So I'm going to kind of spread these out a little bit. There we go. I gotta be careful though, because I don't want it touching my bush. Lol, get it? Touching my bush? No, no. Nobody's going in with me on that one. Fine, fine. Wow, wow. Warlord, warlord, lore bunny the hell out of him. That was that was an aggressive lore bunnying warlord. That was that was at least a dozen lore bunnies. Wow, wow. That was that was that was hateful. All right, so let's let's get some wood. Um, we're just gonna get fourteen or sixteen. Little brony pieces. Okay. Um, and we need to make a chest real quick. And we need to make our, our crafting bench again, obviously. So we got our crafting bench. Um, did not think this one through. Did not think this one through. Whoops. Oh, God dang it. Nope, 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 no. Nope. That was bad. That was bad. All right. Where did I not put it in my hot bar? Okay, there it is. All right. Dropping it down. There we go. Um, let's make another pattern real quick. So I get this out of my inventory. Uh, we're going to do the... Yeah, that one right there. The pickaxe head. Okay, it's in there. And uh, now we need some chests. So we'll go ahead and make a few of those real quick. Let's do two. Two chests. ought to work. And I'm actually going to keep these separate for now. So we're going to do one here, one here. Uh, one of them is going to have all the food in it. Uh, food is, de well, technically an egg isn't food. Uh, rotten flesh. That is disgust. That actually looks disgusting. Uh, raspberries, blueberries, barley, um, malo berries, bala berries. That's like malox if it was a berry. That's just, that's just a little disturbing. Uh, raw pork chops, mushrooms, oranges. I think we're good with that. Okay, this over here is going to end up being the seeds. Uh, this is where we're going to put everything that can grow. I'm going to go ahead and put these berry bushes in there. We are going to be lining those up here in a minute in such a way as uh, as they will be useful. I have to start digging that area out first. Okay, and then I'm going to put another chest up here. And this one's just going to be the random, I don't know what the hell this shit is, but it's probably good to hold on to a chest. So we're going to put that stuff up there. Okay. So we now have the stuff to make a axe, a pickaxe. Now we just need the... And I, I think that's it, right? There's nothing special. Oh, no. We need, the, we need the tool binding because, you know what? It just can't be difficult enough as it is. All right. Splitting. 
That gives us 16. That's going to give us, what, 4? Oh, damn it. This is the problem with Eucalyptus. This is why I hate Eucalyptus. Problem with Eucalyptus is it doesn't count with the new recipe. So you actually have to do them the old-fashioned way, which costs more. Which, I mean, it's not really that big a deal. It's just one of those, like, somebody just stuck a stick in your eye. Not, not like, all the way through your eye, but just, like, give you a gentle poke enough to, like, Ow! What the fuck, man? Kind of one of those. It's, it's, it's kind of like that. All right. There we go. There we go. We now have, we now have that set up. Um, we did get another donation from Vector and Gaming. It was a dollar. While playing, thanks for the memories by Fallout Boy. Oh, he had to throw that in there. He was playing that shit while he was murdering Potato Goblin. He just killed Potato Goblin to a soundtrack. Wow. Oh my God, that's hateful, man. Even I don't kill people to a soundtrack all that often. All right, so we need to make... We need to make our little head here. So that gives us our flint head. Now we need a shovel head. And then we need a axe head. There we go. Pull the flint out, pull that out. Now we're gonna put wood here and hopefully this will work. No. Damn it, Bob. Oh, let's sleep before the monsters get us. Is that the tough tool binder? One of my subs is telling me I got the wrong kind of tool binding. We'll know soon enough, my friends. We'll know soon enough. Is that the tough tool binding? No, that's a normal tool binding. You are wrong, Zippo Master. You are wrong. That, that is a fail lore bunny. Someone execute a lore bunny for me. Execute a lore bunny for Zippo Master. He was, he was mistaken, sir. He was mistaken. If you're going to lore bunny me... You gotta at least get your facts right, because the lore bunnies, they're ruthless. They will take you out. They will take you out. All right, so we need one, two, and three of these. There we go. That's beautiful. Um, actually, now we need a tool binding, which hopefully will work with wood. Yes! Yes, it would. Brilliant. All right, so let's make our, let's, let's make our new stack of tools here. Um, We've got the pickaxe, so we'll put him bam, bam, bam. There we go. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go shovel, which is easy. Bam. Whoops, wrong piece. Wrong piece in the wrong place. Hate it when that happens. Uh, and then let's switch over here. <laughs> Dutchie's actually having a trial for Zippo Master. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. He's, he's not going to just off him. He's going to have a whole full-blown trial. That's brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love it. Holy crap. Look at how fast I'm eating these. Damn. My dude was shoving that shit in his mouth so fast. That shit just disappeared. All right. Let's eat some of these. I got to give it to it. That was one of the things that always annoyed me about the berries is they just took absolutely forever to eat. All right, so let's head down here. We got our little mallow berry tree, which is already, we're gonna have to trim this up a little bit here, unfortunately. The reason we have to trim this up is in its current state, uh, we can't get at everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the hat. Oh, is that breaking it? No, it's not, they're there. They're there. Well, there's one of them, there's the other one. Okay, good. All right. You only want one row of these. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of terraforming here. In fact, we're just gonna bust it all since we've already gotten it all. There we go. We got them all? Perfect. All right, I wanna have my little area not too far from home because otherwise, you know, we're gonna have some starvation issues, which I'm not a big fan of. So let's go ahead and just try and flatten this area right here out. Now this is gonna be probably our primary source of food. We are gonna be a berry man. We're gonna be the berry meister. Um, I'm actually going to come all the way down here. We may even go a little bit lower than this. Is that stone? Fair enough. Doesn't look like stone. What is that? That's appetite. Can't, 
Apparently can't mine appetite. Brilliant. That's going to kind of fuck up the planting here. You're being difficult with my terraforming here. Terraforming is already bad enough. They're going to have to make it even more difficult. All right, there we go. I'm a little surprised that my hunger is staying so high. Usually berries don't do that well with hunger at all. All right. Now we just need to clear this out. Uh, break you and you. Now, can these berries go on dirt? Ne or not dirt, ground. That's a negative. So we're gonna have to dig all this up real quick. And then we can plant, hopefully, the bushes back down. Because that's gonna piss me off if you can't. Uh, do we wanna go down one more floor or do we wanna stay here? Uh, see, that's kind of tough. I guess we'll just stay here. We'll just stay here for now. We can always change it up if we want to drop another floor a little bit later on. Uh, this will let me expand it out a little bit easier. Uh, I'm going to expand it to right there. I don't want to bury the, uh, what do you call it, the beehive. Because uh, unlike many of my other ver or forays into uh, forestry-enabled mods, we may actually have to use bees this time. Maybe. There is a big maybe there. No guarantee we will. All right. Um, let's go ahead and round this out so it looks more square. Because for whatever reason, my OCD is screaming at me because it's not square. All right. Come on. Come on. Now, if I'm lucky, the Lapis Lazuli is going to be the third block, or the Appetite will be the third block in. I'm not sure if we're going to be lucky or not, though. All right, so these are blue. Oh, we are. No, we're not. We're not lucky. Never mind. All right. So we're going to put all these here. God, we got a lot of them. Let's put another row here. Now, the reason we're leaving a row, and this is how we're going to handle this. This is actually going to work out okay. Uh, the reason we're doing it, in, doing it in rows is it lets you, you, you can come down and you can mine both sides. So if we were to put this on the other side, I'd have to actually be over there to do it. Now, technically, what I could do is something like this, which we probably will from here on, um, is put them back to back like this, but leave an opening. And the reason we leave an opening is so we can basically do the same thing you do when you branch mine, and that's mine both sides. There we go. Perfect. So we'll be able to walk through here and I'll leave this open the whole way through and then we can mine both sides of this. We can come back, go through here and then mine both sides of that. And that should work. The question we're gonna run into now is how long is it gonna take for these to grow? Uh, for now, we have a new donation. Well, I was gonna leave it, Vectrum, but you, sir, have crossed the line. This should never be crossed. Grabs Vector Vectrum by the ear and drags him to his mother for a spanking while playing ACD back in black. That's a little weird that you brought your mother in on that. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know. That's a little creepy because it's, it's almost like, you know, because what if Vectrum's into like S&M, in which case you just gave him his best fetish ever, Potato Goblin. So I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, you might want to check and do your research Make sure that, you know, Vectrum's not going to like your punishment, because then it just gets weird. It's really weird. I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there. Just just throwing that out there. All right. So, I don't like our little house here for a couple reasons. Uh, primarily, we don't have a door. And uh, for those of you guys who remember the last episode, um, we, got, we, got, we got tooled pretty badly. So... Um, Specifically to creepers coming in through open spaces and doing dirty things to me that I did not consent to. So, what we need to do now is we need to find a way to protect this this opening in such a way that uh, we won't get we won't get completely destroyed. So what we're going to do is uh, first off I'm going to level it up so that it's completely flat. 
uh, I am going to leave this notch here because I'm going to be putting stairs there. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to seal this off here. Um, that ought to work. Now I am going to have to find some coal here in a bit. Um, and now we're out of dirt, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, let's head down here. You know, we can probably do a little bit more terraforming. Uh, in fact, let's do just that. Uh, why am I still using this? Fuck off! There we go. Uh, the reason I just tossed that thing, some of you guys, the, the hardcore non-wasteful survivalists are probably screaming at me now, which is fine, I understand. I am being a little bit wasteful. But the reason I'm being a little bit wasteful with that is it's, it's a damn wooden shovel. The wooden shovel, I don't believe, levels up. Um, so it's it's not really necessary or needed. There we go. And we might as well uh, start leveling these up. Then again, at the same time, I don't think we're going to keep our shovel level. I mean, well, I mean, I guess we, we could. There's, I mean, there's no real reason to advance level a shovel because, you know, it's a damn shovel. Uh, it's not like you're going to have harder dirts to, to dirt dig, you know. Dirt's dirt. That, that's about as... Dude, for a second there, see that thing floating in the sky? I thought it was a wither. For about, for just a half second, I thought it was a wither. I, I was going to lose my mind. All right, so that's good. Okay. Now we just need to go here, here. There we go. There we go. I unfortunately don't have any coal, so I can't seal my whole base in. At the second, if I do, we will starve. No, we're not starve. It, it will it, it just be too dark. So uh, we're gonna sleep one more night. Um, man, I guess we gotta wait. Come on, hurry up. There we go. If we're lucky. During the night simulation, maybe some of our berries will grow. Nope, we were not lucky. All right, um, let's go ahead and take some of these berries. I'm trying to use most of my my basic stuff here, like the, the berries and things, because they're just not all that important. We're going to be able to easily replace those. Uh, and I'm trying to save, save the meat products, because they're going to be a little bit harder to replace. All right, so we need some coal, um, which shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, Vector Gaming has come back at Potato Goblin. Me cross the line, you never involve moms, creates a bonfire made out of dead potatoes and tosses potato into it while playing Burn Baby Burn. Wow, that's hateful. These two guys don't like each other very much. I mean, there's, there's nothing worse than actually, I mean, burning somebody alive is bad. I mean, that's, I think we can all agree that's pretty hateful. But then burning somebody alive in like a pit full of their friends and family, you know, that, that might just be a little too far. I'm just saying, you know, lines have been crossed, obviously, but, you know, that's, that's just, that's just a little dark. Just a little dark. All right, come on. There we go. Yeah, and they're having music wars too. I'm just I'm just waiting for somebody to drop Britney Spears and the other person just because. Just because. Alright, are we getting close? Uh I went a little too far. Alright. Uh reason I'm digging over here is there is what looks like a ravine. Um is that copper down there? I think it's copper. That is copper. We're going to mine that real quick. Hopefully, anyways. There we go. Okay, that looked like it was it. All right, up we go. All right, so up here is... Um, let's do this. Oh, that's stone. Okay, fair enough. I think I hear something, too, which kind of has me a little worried. Last time we went into a cave, it did not end well for me. Uh, I just need to remember to use my... my. Actually, I think it's an Enderman. While Endermen are evil and terrible and horrible people that hate Pyros. Um, 
They're not they're not really that big a threat as long as I don't poke them or look at them. Alright, so we're gonna put you there, you there, you there. I'll put you there. Let's clear off some of this so we can actually see. And that may have been a mistake. All right, hoping for some, uh... oh, thank God. Is that Cole? Yes. Brilliant. Is there anything else up here I need to be, oh, Jesus, that, oh, my God, that fucking scared the shit out of me, because I'm, you know, I'm freaking out. I'm waiting for the creeper to come around the corner. Um, hang on just one second, and I will read, I will read the donation camp. Give me just one second. I got to keep an eye out for creepers so I don't die. Oh, come on, mine quicker, you little bastard. Mine quicker. Oh my god, that scared me so bad. Dude, I like fucking jumped. Whew. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so the donation cam reads. Sorry for the bad world, Lord Craft Clone. For those of you guys who don't uh, re remember, um, Craft Clone is the one who won the contest yesterday and uh, demanded mercilessly that the world be named after him. Which, of course, then spawned a completely 100% gravelless world. Which, uh, which is just plain nasty. So, it's okay, uh, it's okay, Craft Clone. It's not your fault. I blame your mother for naming you Craft Clone. It's her fault. She should have known. See, that's, that's the first thing you should do when you're picking out a name for your new child. You need to look up the seat. You gotta look up the seat for the name. If it's something awful, you can't have it. Can't have it. I just, that just won't work. All right, so I'm gonna use uh, four of those. That should give me enough torches to keep us going. Um, then we're gonna make a furnace because we need to start burning the uh, the fuel, or not the fuel, the uh, the food. So we're gonna burn some of this real quick first. There we go. We're gonna finish up the rhubarb here real quick. And there we go. Dude, I like the furnace, dude. I gotta give it to Sortex, man. This is a pretty nice pack. This is a pretty nice, visually appealing pack. I'm kind of liking it. All right, so we went and we mined a little bit more. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and use some of this. I, I hadn't planned on using it so the OCD in me wouldn't freak out, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it now. Uh, and this right here, uh, we're gonna go and do one more. This right here is gonna be our door. So I need to use some of the the brony wood. I'm going to use two brony woods. We'll make a brony door. Oh, and it's got a little heart in it. That is a brony door if I ever saw one. Oh, isn't that adorable? <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Wow. Wow. I'm going to have to build, uh, I'm going to have to build Sirena, a nice little eucalyptus tree, uh, house with with a bunch of brownie doors in it just hundreds and hundreds of brownie doors it'll be legendary absolutely legendary okay uh, we're gonna put the dirt up there we're gonna hold the cop uh, the copper ore up there all right so we've actually had a better start this time than we had in the last season um as short as that was uh part of the reason why other than the, with, with the exception of having uh, having issues with uh, with gravel, which I just realized we are still out of, and we're going to need an epic shit ton of to make our smeltery, uh, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. So we need to get, uh, we're going to head over here, and we're going to see if we can't find, uh, we, we need some sand, obviously. I probably should have repaired, damn it. I came all this way over here and did not repair my, my, my thing. So now I'm going to have to run all the way back over there, wasting all of that, uh, that food. Because I, I'm an idiot and didn't, uh, didn't plan on running or having my, uh, my, my, my shovel break on me. Oh, sad face. Oh, well. Shit happens. It is what it is. There it goes. 
That's probably going to be a pretty decent amount of sand anyway. Well, not really. That's like an eighth of the amount we need. Oh, well, it is what it is. Now, Bombman is saying I can go to the nether to make a smeltery. How does going to the nether make me a smeltery? Forget the fact that I can't, uh, I can't easily make obsidian. What we would have to do is basically, uh, find lava and pour it into a mold, which, and then dump water over it, which is doable. It's just a pain in the ass. Okay, so that's, that's amber. That's not, uh, copper. We have more shots fired. Uh, this one's from Vectrum Gaming. Sorry, Craft, but I'm in line to be top today. Pushes Craft off the Grand Canyon. Sheds a single tear for Craft. Wow. At least he shed a at least he shed a tear for you, buddy. I mean, he didn't have to do that. That he he did not have to shed a tear for you, sir. Did we run out of? Yeah, we did. We ran out of. Uh, that sucks. That sucks a lot. We're gonna have to go find some more coal. Um, all right, we're gonna wait till day, I think. Um, actually, no, we're gonna keep the food on us. See, normally I would leave the food here. Um, the reason why I would leave the food here is it's a hardcore world, and if we were to die, I'd want to keep the food on us. But uh, since it's a hardcore world, um, if I die, it doesn't matter whether I've got the stuff on me or not. It's going to disappear. So I might as well bring, you know, what I need with me because it's it's only a one-time thing. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to lose it all, whether it's with you or not. It's going to be, it's going to be uh, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, charcoal could be an option, Tron Spiller. The problem with it is then I'd have to go and spend the time mining the, uh, mining the trees for it. Um, real quick. I need to light this place up. There we go. And we'll put one right there. That ought to keep us bright. Uh, I do need to fix my, there we go. Let's do four. I forgot about repairing my stuff real quick. Since we're going to go mining, we might as well. Uh, and then the shovel. There we go. All right, I'm going to leave this as my number one because this is basically my weapon. Um, this is going to be my back or my mining and then obviously the digging. So we ought to be good with that. All right. Well, for those of you watching on YouTube, this is a good stopping spot. Uh, we're about 37 minutes in. I haven't died yet. Success to me! And uh, we will start the next episode off with uh, with a, a batch of mining in the death caves of scariness. So, anyways, thanks for coming out, guys. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next clip.